G'day beer lovers. In the suburb in Perth where I live, the government is currently digging up all the roads and streets in the area. And I'm going to tell you why. G'day beer lovers. It's our old mate again here. VB Ed. G'day beer lovers. Ever since the city of Perth was established in 1829, there's always been a huge issue with water. Yeah, water supply. Perth having a Mediterranean climate, has a very hot, warm summer, and has a, has a very wet winter where there's a lot of winter rains. Now, to address the water issues, the city has tackled it like this. Okay, now up to the mid-1980s, there was two sources of fresh water. The first source of water was rainwater runoff in the winter months when the heavy rains come to the city. So southeast of Perth, adjacent to the city, there's a number of reservoir dams and various rivers empty their fresh water into these dams during the winter months. But these dams are never ever full. You know, even during a really wet winter, they only get to about 60% capacity. The other way the city has addressed the water issue is groundwater. Now in the northern suburbs of Perth, there is a huge underground aquifer. And when it rains, all the water just sinks into that underground aquifer and just gets replenished all the time because of the soft sandy soil conditions in the city. Okay, now the city of Perth has a population of approximately 2 million people. Now 1 million people live south of the river. I'm talking about the Swan River here. That tends to be a dividing line in Perth. You either live south of the river or north of the river. So south of the river, 1 million people. So up to the mid 1980s, the area of the city south of the river derived most of its water from the rainwater runoff dams in the hills. And the northern suburbs derived all its water from the underground water in the underground aquifer. But the city's growing and it needs more water. Yeah. So the way the city has addressed this is two ways. Okay, in the mid-1980s, the government started to build salt water desalination plants. Yep, we're desalinating the ocean. Now, there have been two plants built in Perth, south of the river. Now, with the desalinated water from those desalination plants, it's fed into the dams. Yeah, got pipelines and it just goes into the dams when it's not needed. Now, north of the river, they've decided to treat the sewerage water. Now, currently behind me is the binning up wastewater treatment facility. It's approximately 25 kilometers north of the central city area of Perth. We're in the heart of suburbia. And uh, this is where all the sewerage and all the wastewater comes. Now, up to 2017, all this water was pumped out of the ocean after it was treated to a certain extent. But in 2017, an ambitious new project started. Stage one was completed in 2017. And instead of this water going off into the ocean, it's treated to almost drinking quality stage one of the conversion of this binning up waste water facility was completed. And now 14 billion liters of wastewater, treated wastewater, is fed directly into the underground aquifer from here. Now, this plant is now in the middle of stage two. Now, stage two involves treating another 14 billion liters of wastewater and feeding it into the underground aquifer. But rather than feeding it into the aquifer from this side here, the government is building a pipeline from this facility heading northeast. Okay, so suburbs adjacent to this wastewater facility are having all their roads dug up to make way for this pipeline. Now the pipeline is 13 kilometers long. It's going to be completed this year, 2019. And along the distance of the pipeline, there is two recharge bores where the 
treated wastewater will be fed into the underground aquifer. One of those areas is in the suburb where I live, Woodvale. Now Woodvale is adjacent to this wastewater treatment plant here. And at the moment, it's chaotic. All our streets and roads in Woodvale are being dug up and our parks as well to make way for this pipeline. The area behind me is located south of Lake Joondalup. Lake Joondalup's only about 500 metres away. It's a long lake, it's a big lake system. The lake's probably about, I don't know, about five, six kilometres in length. And this is the southern tip of it. We're in the suburb of Woodvale. Now this area here, this is where they're going to be building one of the bores, one of the very special bores, which is going to dump the processed water, the processed wastewater into the underground aquifer. They're going to recharge it. I don't know how they're going to do it. Don't quite understand the technology. 